In this world, there exist various conditions and abnormalities that affect society. Arguably, the strangest of them all is the rare condition called over-analytical, unreasonably, completely illogical, and irrational detectivism. Hello, Virginia. How are you? Good. Good. So, Virginia, it's come to our attention that you've solved several mysterious cases throughout the school in recent weeks. Yes, I've solved the broken pencil mystery, debunked the missing page in the math textbook glossary case, and cracked the infamous empty toilet paper roll case. So, what have you been up to recently? Well, I recently discovered an interesting item. I was on my way to honors pre-calculus with trigonometry when I came upon a single potato chip in the third floor hallway. Now you might think it's just a simple coincidence. However, I discovered that it was a Cape Cod sweet and spicy jalapeno potato chip. Soon, I discovered that this chip is not sold in the school cafeteria. Obviously, I searched every trash can in the building and found several potato chip bags, but none of them were the Cape Cod brand. To confirm my suspicions, I rigorously checked and analyzed the previous month of security footage. I then noticed a mysterious bag of Cape Cod potato chips lying in a corner of the third floor hallway. But however, after further analysis, I was unable to determine how the potato chip bag arrived in that location. So I went directly to the site of the conundrum and discovered that the bag was still there, untouched. I confiscated the bag as evidence and weighed it on a scale. I knew through extensive research that every bag of Cape Cod sweet and spicy jalapeno potato chips weighed exactly 2.5 ounces or 70 grams. The weight of the mystery bag, however, was 69.5 grams. Therefore, the mystery chip must have been in the bag at some previous point in time. That's quite enough. So, Virginia, you're obviously a great detective. What are some of your favorite detective films? Well, I have many favorites. I recently saw Sherlock Holmes with my friend. Were any aspects of the film interesting to you? Speaking of my friend, I recently told her about the potato chip incident. Oh we discussed my odd discovery of the bag and its suspicious weight. So the essential question became, how did the potato chip get out of the bag? I then deduced that the chip must be a medium, a connection between this world and the world of the paranormal. A paranormal creature of some kind must have permeated the bag and grabbed the chip. But, as my typical unintelligent friend, they would not believe me or my findings. So I got mad and left. Uh, excuse me? Wasn't there supposed to be a cut back to the interview here? Oh. My. And it sucks because I know that I'm onto something revolutionary here. This is going to change the way people think of the world in and of itself. Wait, what is that? I was right the whole time!